Sudan, a vast area covering 1.8 million square kilometers to the south of Egypt. Endowed with rich natural resources, the country has great potential, but remains one of the least developed in the world. Two decades of civil unrest cost one and a half million lives and had a devastating effect on the well-being of the population. With only limited access to markets and marketing skills, many struggle to break out of the low-income trap. Women and children are among the most vulnerable, many of them having inadequate access to education. Here in the Red Sea state, increasing desertification of the land has made traditional subsistence farming difficult. More and more small-scale farmers of the nomadic Bija tribe are turning to fishing. But the living conditions in fishing communities are poor, and while the sustainable yield of fish is estimated at 10,000 tons a month, fishermen are only able to harvest a fraction of that. Landing site infrastructure is limited, and together with the absence of proper know-how and market infrastructure, the fishery sector is struggling to develop its full potential. In an effort to tackle these shortcomings, the government of the Republic of the Sudan requested UNIDO's assistance, and with funding from the Canadian International Development Agency, a project was launched to develop Sudan's fisheries. It's five o'clock in the afternoon, and Bashir and his fellow fishermen are out on the Red Sea. Every day, Bashir works up to 12 hours, fishing to provide for his family on a day-to-day -day basis. Today, however, is special. Unido has brought in an expert to provide training on how to use traps, which will help to increase the catch. Bashir will also learn how to use long lines with multiple hooks to catch more fish in one go. Until now, most fishermen relied on very basic fishing methods, often returning home with a very small yield. The Canadian International Development Agency funded UNIDO project has also constructed three landing sites in close coordination with the local fishing associations and the Red Sea State Marine Fisheries Administration, giving local fishermen an opportunity to sell their catch. Bashir says that the landing sites have provided an urgently needed economic stimulus to rural fishing communities. Before, the only place we could sell our fish was the Sigala market in Port Sudan but we were paid very little for our catch. The landing site has created a new market for us, which is for the benefit of the fishermen. The price of fish is now higher and we are getting paid immediately. I have also learned how to build traps of local materials. With the training, I will catch more fish, so this is going to give me a good income in the future. The landing sites also play an important role in introducing hygienic standards. Once fish is landed, it's cleaned, cooled, and prepared for transport and sale. Efforts to meet international standards and a consistent cooling chain help reduce post-harvest losses and are crucial elements in gaining access to new markets. Saidna Sali, the landing site manager, is confident that increased harvest amounts and the proper handling of fish will lead to global exports in the future. Having a landing site means that you have a good shed and a safe place to put your fish. You don't need to worry about the production, you can produce as much as you can, and the chairmen are getting the best price. This is eventually going to contribute to their uh, income and improve the living standards of the fishermen. In recent years, the fishing industry has started to grow, but fishermen are not the only ones who will benefit from its expansion. Growth will open job opportunities for young entrepreneurs who are now running their own micro-enterprises. In particular, women, who traditionally haven't played a large role in economic activities, are amongst those fully embracing the new opportunities opening up for them. The project established women's business associations. Currently, the associations house multiple micro-enterprises, give small loans to women, and provide some social services. Karima, a member of the association in Suakin, has set up her own business. 
Every day she buys fresh fish at the landing site, which she then sells in her village. Aisha, the wife of a fisherman, has also greatly benefited from Unido's training and access to small loans. She is now running the association's restaurant and generating her own income. A portion of the profits stays within the association and is reinvested in socially oriented services, such as daycare for children or literacy classes. According to Karima, the additional income greatly benefits her family. I have a six-year-old girl and three boys, and for my own profits, I pay for school and I contribute to the household budget. And because I can afford to send my kids to school, I have also more time to expand my business and to make sure that my kids will have a bright future. <laughs>